Welcome to Colorado, an adventure seeker's ideal destination for hiking, biking, and skiing on the beautiful snow-capped mountains. And just a short flight from North Texas and a quick two-hour drive from Colorado Springs, you'll find a hot springs resort at the base of Mount Princeton. We finally made it to our next destination and uh, as you can see, uh, not in Texas anymore. We're actually at the bottom of Mount Princeton Hot Springs Resort, where we'll be calling this our home for the next couple of days. With over 100 units of lodging, Mount Princeton Hot Springs Resort provides a variety of cozy accommodations, including cabins and luxury suites with spacious rooms, a warm fireplace, spa-inspired bathrooms, plus much, much more. Well, Mount Princeton Hot Springs Resort obviously has hot springs. That's what makes us unique. The water bubbles out of the ground here at about 140 degrees. Down in the creek, the creek water cools the water so you can make your own little pool and, and soak in the natural environment. We have the Spa and Club where we've built pools and utilize the hot spring water to, uh, for relaxation and uh, the healthy benefits of the minerals. Okay. For all our guests, we offer uh, fitness classes every day. So you can come in and you can do a water yoga class, no aerobics, or even we put um, aqua bikes in the water and you can do an aqua bike class. How cool is that? There's so much to do in this area. In the summer, this place is known as a whitewater rafting destination. Okay. In the winter, we have snowmobiling, fat biking has been getting very popular, Monarch Mountains right up the road. Okay. So it's a winter wonderland and uh, uh, it, it's definitely a very unique time to experience the uh, Buena Vista and Salida is during the winter. You know, you did mention Monarch Mountain and Salida. Those are some of the places that we're going to be hitting up here on this trip. So what can we do out there? What are some, maybe some tips, advice for some novice like us? Well, you're going to love Salida, Colorado. It's uh, Colorado's largest historic district, and it's filled with art galleries. It's located right on the Arkansas River, where uh, there's play holes for kayaks in the summer, and we have whitewater festivals there, music in the park, and uh, there's just a lot of history down there. And you can even take a, a walking tour with a local historian. So I'm gonna meet, you, I'm gonna introduce you to uh, to Steve later today. Well, thanks. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. Our next stop, Salida, known as the Gem of the Rockies. All right, y'all, so just a short drive from Mount Princeton is this beautiful small town called Salida. It is rooted with rich history and even some ghost stories, but I, I see some shops around here, so how about we make ourselves at home? YOLO. Salida sits along the upper Arkansas River Valley in the middle of Colorado. It's a charming small town with lots to offer. So to give us a tour on downtown Salida, we met up with Steve. Salida actually started out, it was a boom town uh, that was created when the railroad came here. Okay. And the railroad came to help service the mines. So once the original pioneers came in, Salida grew up very quickly. And it kind of transitioned as, as Salida kept growing to uh, what's happening today. Uh, it's a wonderful tourist town. You know, we uh, have the folks come down from Monarch Mountain when they're skiing or in the summer, they're rafting on the Arkansas River, which is Colorado's most commercially rafted river. Oh, nice. Well, when they finish all the fun recreation, they pop into Salida. We've got wonderful uh, family-owned restaurants downtown, uh -huh. bars, uh, art gallery. In fact, Salida was Colorado's first uh, creative district. Awesome. Well, any uh, tips, places that we need to go to while we're out here roaming the streets? Well, absolutely. We've got the art galleries nearby. I think you guys are going to head over to uh, Woods, the uh, distillery soon. And uh, you can't go wrong with any of the restaurants. They're all really fan uh, fantastic. Well, do you mind showing us the way? Absolutely. All right. Adventure waits behind every corner. Visitors can roam the streets of downtown and find one-of-a-kind boutiques, art galleries, and exceptional dining at the Boathouse Cantina. Once you grabbed a bite to eat, stop into an art gallery, chat with the artists, and watch a live painting right before your eyes. There's artist-owned studio galleries. Um, everyone's doing something unique from furniture to monsters to, you know, fine art like mine, which is kind of impressionistic realism. Okay. 
And some of the others are even doing art of various kinds. You know, the, the monster maker across the street's in there tinkering away. Um, the potter might be in there throwing pots. Everyone's got to work for a living, but you might as well offer a, a foot trafficked uh, studio as well, I think. Right. And, and I think that is what makes Salida so fun and unique for people to just wander around in, you know? Yeah. Need a warm up from the crisp, cool weather? Woods High Mountain Distillery will do just the trick. Choose from whiskeys or gins or even a specialty cocktail. It's all locally sourced and locally made right here in Salida. Well, and then a little side note, a little birdie told me that not only are you the owner of this distillery, but you're also the mayor of Salida mm -hmm. as well. So yep. what do you love about Salida and why bring Texans out here and explore? So it's a, it's just a really genuine town. We don't really have any uh, kind of chain stores. Everything is like locally owned, you know, they're small, genuine small businesses downtown, um, you know, the art galleries, the distillery, um, the clothing stores, all that, that, you know, you go in there, the owner's standing there behind the counter helping you out. It's really uh, makes for a, uh, for a real genuine experience, I think. And we're super nice folks too. Cheers to the friendly Cheers. folks Cheers. and a successful day one in Salida, Colorado. Now that is refreshing. Right? That's good stuff right there. Yeah. We are not done yet. Next, Yellow Texas hits the slopes at the beautiful Monarch Mountain. Woo! Hey y'all, welcome back to Yellow Texas where we are clearly uh, not in Texas anymore. We made it all the way up to Monarch Mountain, the hometown mountain of Salida, Colorado, and we have a fun, jam-packed day full of outdoor activities. And let me just say, y'all, it is extremely cold out here, but we're bundled up. And first things first, we gotta check in. Let's go. Monarch Mountain is an authentic ski resort situated along the Continental Divide. It's known for its gorgeous scenery, excellent terrain, abundance of pure natural snow, and the perfect getaway for skiers of all levels. We have terrain for all abilities. So even if you come up and you have that one person that's hardcore and wants to go to the top, um, we have some really fun terrain for them. But then we also have a great learning center and, and um, yeah, some really, really mellow runs. So it's a great place to, to start out and, you know, grow as a skier or just say, hey, you know what, I want to go tubing. Yeah. Yeah, so we have um, snow tubing. So we have a tubing park that's brand new this year. We're super excited. Um, and so, yeah, if you're, if you're not ready to, to hop on a skis or a snowboard, um, we do those by the, by the hour and you can uh -huh. run a tube. And we also have uphill routes. So if you, um, you know, want to hop on cross country skis or snowshoes and go uphill and just see the beautiful view of the Continental Divide, um, yeah, we can offer that too. So yeah, and then also, I mean, we have a really great, uh, the Sidewinder Saloon bar, so a great place to warm up. and and some retail opportunities and, and yeah. That's wonderful to hear. Yeah. Okay, so lastly, any tips for someone who first time are skiing or hasn't skied in a long time? Any tips, anything that I need to know? I would say um, don't be scared, don't be nervous. <laughs> Get over that part because um, it's all about having fun. And, and really, you know, if you're not having fun, you're not doing it right. And we'll show you how to do it right and all have right. a good time. Sounds good, yeah. I like that. Okay, well let's go get geared up. All right. It's not every day Texans see snow, so if you happen to forget an item, the Outer Edge Shop has got you covered. Need to rent equipment by the day? Monarch's got that too. It's as easy as signing in, then let the professionals do the sizing and the fitting. How about these boots for a change? <laughs> and once that's taken care of, explore the beauty of Monarch Mountain for yourself. All right, so we are here at our first activity for the day. It is snow tubing, y'all. I've done this a handful of times on the river, but this one is a little bit different because obviously there's snow. Let's go check it out. The Monarch Tubing Park is the newest attraction on the mountain. It's fun for all ages and get this, no experience necessary. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy a fun ride down a 400 foot slide of pure snow. In three, two, one, go! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> 
On to the next. <laughs> New to skiing or interested in learning how to snowboard? Monarch offers group or private lessons staffed with certified instructors ready to customize to your specific goals. The most important thing in skiing is balance, right? So I always want to stay stacked, nice and centered. These things don't have brakes. So we're going to want to keep our hands out in front of us like this, our knees nice and bent, and we can just slow down with our pizza. So you guys ready to start sliding a little bit? Let's do it! And once you got your legs under you, woo! <laughs> How'd I do? Hop on the lift and explore the trails. With 800 acres of skiable land, there's numerous runs to explore, ranging from the easygoing greens to the thrill-seeking double blacks Monarch Mountain is sure to entertain all. Take a break from the slopes and warm up with a nice cup of joe from Java Stop. Or be like kings at the Sidewinder Saloon. And then here we go, lunchtime. Uh, you know, that's your go-to. Our nachos are just basically what we're famous for. Nachos and Bloody Marys. Um, we got our jalapeno popper burger there. Um, I basically consider it a burger with two sides. Um, so, you, you know, the jalapeno poppers your one side, the fries are your second. Lots of heat. Lots of heat. It'll warm you up. Another alternative to stay warm. Yes, for sure. <laughs> the perfect meal to make our trip complete. You know, if there's one thing that the show has taught me is to say yes to any new opportunity that arises in y'all. This memory is something that I'll cherish forever. So if you're looking to mix up your spring break plans and maybe see some snow, definitely come out to Monarch Mountain in Salida, Colorado. And if you want, make sure to stay at the lodges at Mount Princeton. Y'all, we're gonna head back home because Texas is calling us, but we had an absolute pleasure in the mountains. See ya. Interested in planning a trip to one of the places you saw here on the show? Visit the links below for more information.